Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x plus 2 whole to the power 4 plus x to the power 4 is equal to 82. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. x plus 2 whole to the power 4 plus this x to the power 4 can be written as x plus 0 whole to the power 4 is equal to 82. Now, this 2 can be written as this 2 can be written as 1 plus 1. This 0 can be written as this 0 can be written as 1 minus 1. So, we write this x plus 2 whole to the power 4 as x plus 1 plus 1 whole to the power 4 plus and we write this x plus 0 whole to the power 4 as x plus 1 minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 82. Now, here we have x plus 1 and here we have x plus 1. So, we suppose that let x plus 1 is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation then this equation will become m plus 1 whole to the power 4 plus m minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 82. Now, this uh, m plus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as uh, m plus 1 whole squared and whole to the power 2 plus this uh, m minus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as uh, m minus 1 whole squared and whole to the power 2 is equal to 82. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, b squared plus uh, 2ab. This uh, m plus 1 whole squared can be written as uh, m squared plus uh, 1 squared means 1 plus uh, 2 times m whole to the power this power 2 plus uh, by using this uh, algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, b squared minus 2ab this uh, m minus 1 whole squared can be written as m squared plus 1 minus 2m whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 82. Now, here we have m squared plus 1 and here we have m squared plus 1 and here we have 2m, here we have 2m. So, we suppose that uh, let a is equal to m squared plus 1 and b is equal to 2 times m and we substitute uh, a and b in this equation then this equation will become a plus b whole squared plus a minus b whole squared is equal to 82. Now, this uh, a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, 2ab plus b squared plus uh, this uh, a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to 82. Now, this uh, negative 2ab will be cancelled out with this uh, positive 2ab and this uh, 1a squared plus uh, this 1a squared will become 
a squared and this 1b squared plus this 1b squared will become plus 2b squared is equal to 82. Now from here we can factor out 2, 2 as a common factor and in bracket left a squared plus b squared is equal to 82 and from here we divide both sides of this equation by 2 at right side we divide by 2. So this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and at left side we are left with a squared plus b squared is equal to 82 divided by 2 41. Now recall that Recall that A is equal to m squared plus 1 and B is equal to 2 times m. Recall that A is equal to m squared plus 1 and B is equal to 2 times m. So, we replace this A with this m squared plus 1. m squared plus 1 whole squared. This square will come here. Plus we replace this b with this 2 times m. 2 times m whole squared. This square will come here. It is equal to 41. Now by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This m squared plus 1 whole squared will become m to the power 4 plus 2m squared plus 1 plus this 2m squared is 4m squared is equal to 41. Next m to the power 4 plus this 2m squared plus this 4m squared will become 6m squared plus 1. We move this 41 to the left side, it become negative 41 is equal to 0. Now, this m to the power 4 can be written as m squared whole squared plus 6m squared and this uh, plus 1 minus 41 is uh, negative 40 is equal to 0. Now here we have uh, m squared and here we have m squared. So we suppose that uh, let m squared is equal to t and we substitute t in this equation then this equation will become t squared plus 6 times t minus 40 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this t squared t squared and we split this plus 60 as we split this plus 60 as plus 10 times t minus 4 times t minus this 40 is equal to 0 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out t in bracket left uh, t plus 10. From these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 4 in bracket left uh, t plus 10 is equal to 0. Now this uh, t plus 10, this t plus 10 is a common factor. So we factor out this uh, t plus 10 and uh, in bracket left, uh, in bracket left uh, this t and this negative 4, in bracket left uh, t minus 4 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression t plus 10 is equal to 0 or this expression 
t minus 4 is equal to 0. From this equation, t is equal to negative 10 and from this equation, t is equal to 4. Now, recall that Recall that uh, m squared is equal to t. Recall that uh, m squared is equal to t. First, uh, in this equation, we put the value of t negative 10. Then, this equation will become m squared is equal to negative 10. And to remove uh, this square, we take uh, square root of uh, both sides. And this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root. So, m will be equal to plus or minus square root of negative 10. And because the square root of uh, a negative number is imaginary number, so no real solutions can be found from this equation. Now, in this equation, we put this value of t 4. Then, this equation will become m squared is equal to 4. And we take a square root of both sides. So, this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and we get the value of m is equal to plus or minus 2. It means uh, m is equal to 2 and m is equal to negative 2. Now, to find the values of x, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus 1 is equal to m. We have supposed that x plus 1 is equal to m. First, in this equation, we put this value of m 2. Then, this equation will become x plus 1 is equal to 2 and x is equal to 2 minus 1 and x is equal to 1. This is the first value of x. This is the first solution of this equation. Now, in this equation, we put uh, this value of m negative 2. Then, this equation will become x plus 1 is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to negative 2 minus 1, x is equal to negative 3. This is the second value of x, this is the second solution of uh, this equation.